Has Canon leaked out the actual megapixels of the Canon R5? Well, apparently the guys at Canon News have figured that out utilizing a little bit of math. Now, I'm not really good at math, so in this video, we're gonna tell you how they came up with a formula and what the actual megapixel of this camera may be. All that information coming up. And welcome back to the channel, guys. And if you're new here, my name is Gaston. I am a photographer from Miami, Florida. Go Heat. And I do year reviews, tutorials, and behind the scenes. So if you like to stay in touch with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button to be notified every time my content goes up. All right, so how did the guys from Canon News figure out the formula to actually determine the megapixels from the uh, Canon R5? And today we're gonna reveal that. It's actually very, very simple. I'm not that good at math, so I'm actually gonna pull my calculator, AKA my phone. And uh, you can actually do that alone to follow me. Actually, let's do it, pull your phone. I'm actually gonna get in my mathematic mood right there. There you go. And we're gonna start doing some numbers. Now, one of the things that we know for a fact is that this camera is gonna be shooting at 8K VCI, and that resolution is 8192 by 4320. So we have 8192 across by 4320. Keep those numbers in mind. Now, the other thing that we know is the camera is gonna shoot with no crop with the full width of the sensor. So the full width of the sensor, again, is 8192. Now, the other piece of information that we know is that the Canon sensor used the three to two aspect ratio. Now, three to two equals to 1.5. And that is when we are gonna fire our calculator and we're gonna do this math. Now, remember, uh, shooting at full width of the sensor equals at 8192 in AK. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna divide it by the aspect ratio. Three divided by two is 1.5. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna divide this for 1.5, which is the aspect ratio. Now, what we just have calculated here is the height of that sensor. So the height of the sensor is going to be 5,461.33333333333333, right? So 81.92 by 5,461 is going to be the height of the Canon sensor. Now, with that information, all we have to do is very simple. Multiply the height of the sensor by the width of the sensor. 81.92. And that gives us, ba ba, 44.739,242.7. So basically 45 megapixels. Now, to come up with the math wasn't that hard. All we have to know is to know the actual resolution of the AK, which it was 8192 by 4320. Then we actually knew that this camera wasn't going to shoot in crop. So we took the full width of the sensor. And then we took the aspect ratio of the Canon sensor, which is the three to two. That is three divided by two equals 1.5. Now, if we divide 81.92 divided 1.5, we get the math that is actually 54.61, which gave us actually the height of the sensor. So now we know the width of the sensor and the height of the sensor, 81.92 by 54.61. And that gives us the resolution of the sensor, which is 44.7 plus that, 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 some numbers out there. Now, 44.7, let's run that 45 megapixels. Now, for the Canon R5 to actually go with a 45 megapixel, it makes a lot of sense. And let me tell you why. Well, number one, we know that this camera is gonna have dual car slots. And actually, let me fix this before I continue. So we're gonna have dual car slots, and one of the car slots is gonna be a CFAT. Now, one of the problems that I have with my Sony a7R4 is exactly that, the high megapixel count and the SD card that is not fast enough to keep up with the buffer. Now, the buffer on the 7R4, a 61 megapixel, is actually really painful. You could actually wait five minutes for the buffer to clear, depending how fast you're shooting. And that happened to me a lot of the times right here at the studio that is right next to me. And uh, with a 7R3, which it was a 43 megapixel, the experience was much pleasing. Yes, still you have to wait for the buffer to clear, but I didn't see the buffer coming up as I see it coming up right now with a 7R4. Now, a 45 megapixels with a CFast Express card, that means that we barely are gonna see the buffer coming up at all. And I think that's a really good move from Canon to choose to go with a high megapixel count that is not exaggerated as a 61. And if they want a product, they could have gone to 100 megapixels. So 45 megapixel seems to be the right amount of megapixels to have in a camera like this one. That's gonna give us speed, that's gonna give us flexibility. And I think that most photographers out there are not gonna need more than that. And as a matter of fact, you know, the uh, Canon EOS R has 31, I think 32 megapixels. And that is actually good enough. Now, 
add another, what, 13 megapixels to the camera, 45 megapixel, and that is actually a lot more resolution. Now, without going that far, a couple of years ago, cameras had 10 megapixel, and we were like, wow, that's a lot of resolution. So, now imagine having all the resolution in a camera that's gonna be packing all these great features. We're not gonna have buffer problems, you know, we're gonna have the 8K recording, we're gonna have the 4K recording, I myself, I'm so excited for this camera. And now that we know the resolution of the sensor, I'm more excited than ever before. So guys, what do you think about this? Did you come up with the same uh, math uh, while we were doing that? Drop the comments down below. And as always, hit the subscribe button for more content like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification button to be notified every time one of my videos go up. And until then guys, see you later.